on the WordPress dashboard, hover or click on the Set Commerce menu and then click on the Etsy submenu. This is the Etsy account page. For integration between the store and Etsy, you need to add the Etsy account. Click on the Connect Etsy account button, a pop-up will appear where you can get your shop name by clicking the Get Shop Name button or you can enter your shop name in the text box and then click on the Authorize button. This will redirect you to the Etsy authorization page where you have to log in with your seller login details if you are logged up. After login, you have to hit the Grant Access button and after adding an account, you can see and confirm the shop name, shop user ID and shop username. You can also delete your added account just by selecting the checkbox placed before it and selecting the delete from the drop down and hitting the apply button. After adding an Etsy account, you will have to hit the configure button. After hitting, the page that opens is the central panel of the plugin. As you can see here on this page, a few sections are available, global settings, category mapping, profile and so on. In this video, you will look at the flow of the global settings section. Now, this section provides all the configurations related to product and order synchronization. The search product custom fields and attributes part will help you to choose the required meta key or attribute on which the product information is stored. These meta keys or attributes will further be used in product export settings for listing products on Etsy from WooCommerce. Enter the product name, keywords and the list will be displayed. Under that, select the meta key or attribute using the checkbox as per requirement. The next part is product export settings where you are allowed to enter the details of the product which you will be exporting. There are 5 attributes to display. The first attribute is required attributes which is a must fill otherwise you will get errors on uploading products. Product listing type whether you want to upload product in active or draft. Shipping profile to be used for products while uploading on Etsy. You can find create shipping profiles in the drop down if you do not have an Etsy shipping profiles so you can create one. You can create one using create a new one here button. After clicking a page will be open where you can enter details for the shipping template giving a title to your shipping. Choose your origin country, destination country and region from the drop down and fill in minimum and maximum delivery time primary and secondary cost, minimum and maximum processing days. After that, by clicking on the create new button, you can see the shipping template created message. In who made, who made the item being listed and you have three options, I did, collective or someone else. Pick your preferred option from the drop down. In product supply use of the product, you have two options, a supply or tool to make a finished product. Pick your preferred option from the drop down. In manufacturing year when the item was made, you can choose made to order or year from the drop down. The second attribute is recommended attributes which is recommended by Etsy for SEO purposes. Here you can fill in the product tags, product materials and product styles. Also you can select shop section and production partners from the drop down. The third attribute is optional attributes where you can fill in the title, description, price, stock etc for Etsy but make sure that these attributes will be applied to all WooCommerce products. You can also select a custom field or attribute from the pick value from custom field or attribute drop down. The fourth attribute is shipping attribute where you can fill in the weight, length, height and width of the product and you can also select the weight unit and dimension unit from the drop down. The fifth attribute is personalization attributes where you can set whether a product has a personalization option or not. The next part is order import settings where you can configure the order related settings. Here you get three features. First one is default WooCommerce order status where you can select the order status in which you want to create Etsy orders from the drop down. The second one is use Etsy order number where you can use Etsy order number instead of a WooCommerce ID when creating Etsy orders in WooCommerce by doing a toggle on. The last one is auto update tracking where if you use the WooCommerce shipment tracking plugin then it will be auto updated tracking information on Etsy by doing it toggle on. The last part is global settings which is schedulers where you can automate the process. Here you get four features first one is fetch Etsy orders where you can auto fetch Etsy orders and create in WooCommerce by using the toggle on. The second one is update inventory to Etsy where you can auto update price and stock 
from the WooCommerce to Etsy. Third one is upload products to Etsy where you can auto upload products from WooCommerce to Etsy. And the last one is import products from Etsy where you can auto import the active listings from Etsy to WooCommerce. Here you will need to map the WooCommerce store category to the Etsy category. You will need to select the WooCommerce category using the checkbox on the left side and a list of Etsy categories will appear in the drop down. Select the Etsy category in which you want to list the products of the selected WooCommerce category on Etsy. Click save mapping option at the bottom. Once you map the categories profiles will automatically be created and you can use the profiles to override the settings of product export settings in global setting at the category level. Here you will see all the profiles created after category mapping. For overriding the details, edit the required profile using the edit button under the profile name. After hitting the edit button, you will be redirected to a page where you will be having some attributes. Search product custom fields and attributes. This section will help you to choose the required meta key or attribute on which the product information is stored. These meta keys or attributes will further be used in product export settings for listing products on Etsy from WooCommerce. Basic information, here you can see profile name, profile ID and map WooCommerce category. Product export settings, this is to override the settings of product export setting in global settings at the category level. In this video, we'll explore the product section of the plugin and Etsy attributes at WooCommerce product level. Here, you can edit any product just by clicking on the product name and can edit any profile in the profile column. After editing any WooCommerce simple product, you can find the Etsy button on the left side of the product data section and fill in Etsy attributes at the product level. And after editing any WooCommerce variable product, you can find the Etsy button on the left side of the product data section and fill in the Etsy attributes at the product level. You can also find Etsy attributes at the level of the variation. For each variation, click on variations on the left side of the product data section. Now expand any variation, scroll a bit down and find Etsy attributes. Here you can see the regular price, selling price, SKU, stock status and stock quantity in the details column. Also you can see present on Etsy or not on Etsy status in the Etsy status column. If the product is present on Etsy then you can see here product status which means active or draft, Etsy ID created timestamp or an expiring timestamp. When you will click on the present on Etsy then a page will open where you can see the details of the product which is on Etsy. If you want to see any product present on Etsy status then you can click on the eye symbol and you will be redirected to your Etsy store from there. Also you can see inventory activity, product activity, order activity and scheduler enable disable status in the timeline section. Here in each activity a few columns are presented like title, product name, operation, update upload remove fetch times operation timestamp type which is automatic or manual and response which is either success or failed when you click on the title name you can see data prepared for etsy and if you click on the response which is either success or failure then you'll be able to see data for success response and error cause for a failed response in wp cron's execution you can see the scheduler status enabled or disabled if enabled, you can see the last executed and next execution timestamp. On the product section page, you can filter products by Etsy status, category, product type and stock status. You can choose from the drop down and hit the filter button or you can also search the products by name. To perform and upload products operation, you need to select the product using the checkbox on the left side of the product list column and hit the upload products button. You will be getting a notification for each perform operation. You can upload either a single product or multiple products using checkboxes. To perform the update products operation you need to select the product using the checkbox on the left side of the product list column and hit the update product button and you will get a notification for each performed operation here as well. You can update either a single product or multiple products using checkboxes. By using the update product operation, you can also update the title, description and many more except the price, stock and SKU. To perform the update images operation, you need to select the product using the checkbox on the left side of the product list column and hit the update images button. 
you will get a notification for each performed operation. You can update either a single product or multiple product using checkboxes. To perform the update images operation, you need to select the product using the checkbox on the left side of the product list column and hit the update images button. You will get a notification for each performed operation. You can update either a single product or multiple product using checkboxes. To perform the remove product operation, you need to select the product using checkbox on the left side of the product list column and hit the remove product button you will get a notification. Now you can either remove a single product or multiple products using checkboxes. If you want to delete the product from Etsy store, then you can perform remove product operations from the plugin. In this section, all fetched Etsy orders will be displayed. Here, you can see some columns like WooCommerce order, product name, Etsy order ID, customer name, order status, and actions. You can manually fetch Etsy orders by using the Fetch Orders button. Also, you can enable the Auto Fetch Orders feature in Schedulers. You can edit any order for more actions by using the Edit button. Then, you can also submit the tracking details, that is tracking code and career name, from WooCommerce to Etsy. In the WooCommerce order section, you can recognize any Etsy order by the Etsy icon. Here, you can import active, inactive, draft and expired Etsy products from your Etsy shop. By using the filter product by Etsy status, this drop down you can select any status and hit filter button after that the products will be shown. Here, you can see some columns like image, name, price, stock, status and view link. Yeah, you can import either a single product or many products using checkboxes and after that from the bulk action drop down select import and hit the apply button. You can also auto import active Etsy products by using the import products from Etsy feature in schedulers. Here you can see inventory, activity, product activity, order activity and scheduler enable or disable status in the timeline section. Here in each activity, a few columns are presented like title which is product name, operation which is update, upload, remove or fetched, time which is the operation's timestamp, type, automatic or manual and response which could be success or a failure. Now when you click on the title name, you can see data prepared for Etsy and if you click on the response which is either success or failure, then you can see data for success response and error cause for a failed response. In WP Cron's execution, you can see scheduler status enabled or disabled. If enabled, you can see the last executed and next execution timestamp. 